Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and this is part two of the leg rig tutorial that I'm making. So if you haven't seen part one, I suggest you do. Okay, so let's just go ahead and uh, go right into it. So now, last time we made this leg, and um, let's go ahead and just fix a couple things before we actually get started. So I'm first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to View Properties and let's turn the grid floor off. You know, it's just a little bulk. You can go ahead and close this. Okay, so as you can see, there's not really enough subdivisions here for it to deform nice. So what we need to do is subdivide it. But when we subdivide it, it gets all blocky, and we don't want that. So there's an easy way to fix that. Just press tab. So let's press W. Bring up the specials tab instead of uh, subdividing. Press subdivide smooth. Turn smooth to one. Okay. But now, as you can see, it's very fat but we can go ahead and shrink that the shrink fatten tool and to do that you just press that hold it um, you know have it all the vertices selected press alt s and then just shrink it just a tick just to about there okay and that's sh we shrink it a little bit but these feet don't seem they seem way too cartoony and big let's go ahead and just smooth those out so you want to select all of these vertex uh, vertexes sorry vertices um, by box selecting them and press smooth once or twice. Let's see, one, two. It's pretty good. And let's just go ahead and um, go back to side view. Go ahead and select these vertices down here. And um, let's scale on the z axis to flatten it out. Okay. Actually, and now let's press smooth once or twice. Perfect. Okay. So now, if you guys, I hope if you guys can see this, there's this weird edge going on here, and this weird bulge thing that's going around the middle, and we don't want that. And the reason why that's happening is because we got two edges right next to each other, and we just want to go ahead and merge those. And an easy way to merge these is um, auto merge editing, and this is a very nice feature with Blender. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So go ahead and press this button here, okay? And what this does is when you um, select a vertex and grab it with the G key, and you hold Control and you move to another vertex, it automatically snaps to the vertex to the vertex that you're hitting. But when we uh, you know click it to accept the movement, it doesn't merge with it. But we want it to merge, so go ahead, go to Mesh, and make sure you're in the Edit mode, or else this won't be here. Go to Auto Merge Editing. Okay, so now wherever we go press G, hold control and we click it, it'll automatically merge. So we want the outer vertices here to merge with the inner vertices here. So we'll just do this for this. So press G, hold control, move it to that one and click. And when you uh, are close enough, there's a small white circle around it. So you know where what you're doing and where you're doing it. So G, hold control, move over and it uh, merges automatically very nice tool very easy tool to use that's why I love Blender so much okay so now that's gone let's actually just shrink this a little bit let's just press S ever so slightly okay now we what we want to do is we want to smooth out these bony looking hips so just select all those by box selecting smooth once okay so now you want to deselect the bottom vertices here by box selecting them and instead of dragging over them with the left mouse button just drag over them with the right mouse button and deselect these and press smooth about once or twice three times and there we have it let's go ahead and fix these um, legs a little bit here okay let's just go ahead box select these here move them in ever so uh, ever so slightly smooth them out and um, yeah this is pretty good for the time being okay so let's go ahead and make that basic um, rig now that we have our our mesh here so let's go to front view make sure that your um, that your 3D cursor is in the center and if it's not just press shift C 
and that centers it. And then press C again to center the camp, to center the view. Go in the front view, and uh, let's turn this off for now. Let's go ahead and add an armature. So press space, add armature, and let's go ahead and turn X ray on. Okay? So now that we have that, press tab to go into edit mode. And um, it, let's just move this up. Um, okay? So select the whole thing by pressing A, and just move it up to, to the very top here. So press G, Z, and move it up to where the tip is, okay? Right about there. Now take this here, press G, Z, and move it to the bottom here. Just move this up here some more. Okay, so now that we have that, let's turn X axis mirror on so that whatever we do on one side affects the other side. And if you just press E to extrude, you know, it doesn't go on the other side, and you know, that's kind of annoying because you don't know what's going on but uh, the easiest thing to do for that is simply hold shift and press E so shift E go ahead and move it over okay so now let's extrude down so now that we have the hip bones let's go down here to the knee bones and down to the shin bones now that we have that let's go into side view let's go here once for the foot once for the toes Go ahead and put this back so that we can have kind of like an ankle thing. So let's press G, Y, and right about there. That's pretty nice. Yeah, so let's make sure everything's lined up correctly. And it is. So, yeah, that's cool. And um, let's turn off all the subdivision, uh, all the subdivisions to be seen here in the, in the interface so that we can see exactly how it is how the message will just turn this right here off and this right here off so this is the main blocky mesh and it looks pretty nice it's perfect okay so let's go ahead and save press control s and save it okay so when part three comes out be sure to watch it and um, if you haven't seen part one go ahead and watch that too so thanks for watching